Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be walking through on how to actually uh, route between pages upon clicking on this particular block card here. As you can see here, let's go open our uh, current project here. So as you can see, there's only one card that we have already been made. So that's what we should be having. So let's see if I were to click on this particular block card and let's see what happens. So as you can see here, upon clicking on that particular word block card, now it just goes to a dummy block card that we have did earlier, which we, which is not supposed to look like. I mean, this is not how it's supposed to be working, right? So we should be making it to go to that particular block content and that's coming from the Strapi CMS. So that's, yeah, that's the, that's the basic idea of this particular uh, video is going to be. So I'll be just walking you through how to route dy dynamically. So that's what I'll be doing here to the page where it actually has the content that's coming from the Strapi CMS. So let's go back to our code. Okay, everyone. So as you can see here, we are in our app.jsx file. So all you have to do, just need to do, just need to pass the data that's coming from this particular use fetch function. Just need to pass it as a props to this particular component called block content page. That's, so that's what I'll be doing here. So I'll be copying this exactly like what, I'm, what I did here, which is basically block equals to curly braces. Uh, empty empty uh, empty string like this and if that's the data we're going to be passing data so that's this is the first step the next step is to go to the block content page comp uh, code here so as you can see here we need to be doing the same thing like how we did it for uh, for block page so as you can see we need to be receiving the uh, the data which is which is blocks so as you can just just make sure that we we are actually passing the name okay we need to pass this name here blocks and this particular blocks should be able to be received see uh, I like to like check it here by doing console dot log blocks. Oh, okay, so let's check our console and of course let's make it let's make it some reference also. This is this particular uh, code is coming from block content page. And let's go to let's remove other other unwanted console. For example, let's say if we go to home page, as you can see here we happen to have a console log here which won't be, we won't be needing this. So let's remove this. Let's click save and let's yeah let's save all and remove let's close the other you know you just need to be make sure that home page and blog content page is turn is open and let's go back to our browser and let's check its console what is it actually be displaying okay so as you can see here you can see blog content page actually displaying some, an object and this object happens to be having the object that is coming from the app.jsx so basically it's working we actually passing it to the blog content page actually working so let's go back and uh, the next thing is to add uh, this particular block that is actually being passed from app projects just need to pass it into here just like how we did in the previous uh, like for example let's say if i were to go to my uh, home page and then we just need to do like this basically blocks we are passing props so basically just need to copy this and we'll be just going to be pasting we'll be copying this and we'll be pasting it like this exactly like how we did for home page so let, now let's go and yeah, let me before let me just take cut this and I'll have to go to block content page and here will be the one that we should be able to also need to be making sure that we do the same thing for example let's uh yeah let's open the I mean, let's make it like yeah let's make this parameter to be able to receive as like to receive the blocks and let's say blocks here okay so for, it's gonna be let's let's test it like here and as you can see here, we already happen to have another array called blocks. So what we will do, we're just going to be commenting it, commenting it out, for example, like this. And so to everything else. And of course, we're going to be also need to be comment this out for a while, just because because we won't be because we don't want it to be there any any clashes. So I like to I like to comment all of this out. I mean, before I have to copy this and I have to comment all out. And here I would like to paste the uh, this is a simple dummy div like this. Just so that we're able to test we're able to receive this particular uh, console block i would say block content i would say this in this case going to be this is the block the new block content page so let's click let's click save all and let's go back to our browser and there you go now as you can see here block content the new block content page is able to display the uh, the data of course the same data that's coming from its previous uh, components so as you can see we are actually able to pass data that's coming from app.jsx directly to block content page so that's how that's the first step you just to make sure we are able to pass the data between pages so next thing here we need to be able to 
uh, filter out which particular data that's need to be shown exactly like how we did it earlier with the dummy data that we have provided here. So we're going to be doing the same exact thing. So just going to be copying this as well. And I have to paste it just below here. And of course, there'll be, there'll be some changes to be made. And I would like to make uncomment this particular code here. Just like to uncomment this. And what I like to do here is that I like to, of course, I need to make sure that this particular block is uh, separated from the previous one. For example, like this. And I like to make this let block equals to an empty an empty object like this. And this particular block will be able to uh, only when there's some data that inside the block. For example, let's see if there's a block inside here. The, there's a content inside the block. Then only it will be we able. We need, we need to uh, make run the first uh, the line here, which is to filter, which is to filter based on the on ID that right, actually being passed in the parameter in the URL. So basically, we need to make sure that the first one should be. Uh, you're gonna be. We're gonna be making a new variable called array. For example, instead of block here, I'm gonna make array like this. And this is not defined yet. So let let put let let array equals to blocks dot filter but as you can see here blocks is actually an object that's coming it's an array of objects so i like to make it dot data that's how the structure of that api is so it's going to be coming with data so followed by filter followed by block and of course you need to be making sure this id is also also coming from here and also this block id is also should be equals to this particular block id here so that's how it works and only when we are able to find that particular uh, object in this particular array, then only we are able to make uh, the block, which is here, this particular block object here, equals to array. And when we filter out, there is only it's only going to be one ID, so it's going to be making sure uh, zero here, to just to be the first element in this array. Okay, so this is how it works. And also let's make an else condition also, just to fill up the we copying this. And we'll be pasting it right here. Okay, so that's how it works. And the next thing is, I mean, yeah, I think we already we can remove this this line here because we won't be needing this. And this particular console where we'll be testing out what is it particular output is it. So we, we won't be needing any of this yet. Copy this console and I have to paste it here. In this case, I have to name it a uh, dog object. And at the same time, I have to remove the other console here. Just console. Okay, let's click save, and let's go back to our browser. And there you go. Right now, you are able to see this particular block object is being displayed as a single object, not an array, but a single, just a single object. So right now, now we are able to make use of its content. For example, the block, uh, the block description content, block title, populate all the data that's that are coming from here, and we can fill up all the spaces that we can actually provide. For example, there's an image, and there's a cover image, there's a uh, block title, and then there's a block uh, author as well. So we can all do that. So let's do it. Uh, one by one so let's head back to our code now let's go to the bottom here and as you can see here we, we are able to remove this first div here we won't be needing this div and we can uncomment uh, instead of uncommenting the everything what you can do we can just copy everything and we can actually code to be uh, commented and we can actually uncomment this one which is a duplicate one let's make it yeah it's a copied version and this is the original one. and here is where we'll be making use of all the make, we'll be making sure we are able to display the data that's coming from api using the proper way to it so let's go to our first uh, data here which is uh, which is source image here so in this case it's going to be a different one so instead of block dot cover image i'll to make sure this and for of course that's going to be uh, the same way how we did for our our blocks so as you can see here okay actually just copy everything that you're seeing it here just need to copy everything inside source and just paste it exactly like this inside uh block content page and of course block title let's do the same thing blocks uh block title do the same thing here i'm going to be pasting the same thing like this and also for block content here same way fetch it but we're just going to be making sure that we don't uh, call the wrong one For example this is block title i'm going to be making sure i call block content and yeah that's it let's click save and let's head back to our browser and there you go now you guys can see here in our browser we were able to display the image the title and the content of the block and that's the way how are we able to display the content of a block upon clicking on For example this is this is the block here let's see if i were to click on this now we're just directly going to this particular data here and of course we just need to have have more data for example your avatar image of the author and the and the name of the author as well so that's what i'll be adding also 